Does your chiropractor take x-rays? Well, check out this patient that came from Thailand. He's been to over 15 different chiropractors, only two after all these years have ever taken x-rays. Check out my full detailed report and find out why you needed those x-rays to get better. I don't know why doctors don't do it. Check this out. Hi, this is Dr. Ace there, your YouTube chiropractor, presenting the best results on YouTube. This is part two. If you missed part one, go back and check it out. Question of the day, do you think it's important for your chiropractor to take x-rays of your spine? I think it is. What do you think? Leave those ideas and comments in the comment section. Love you guys. See you guys next time. Hi, uh, Dr. Thayer here with Shandor and I wanted to show you guys the x-rays on camera because I think the x-rays are pretty impressive and they're messed up enough to kind of show you some variation that I don't always see. And so he's gracious enough to let us do that and uh, I've been hard on him, but again, I really thank you for letting yeah, me show no the x-rays. No so, uh, he's had two adjustments and uh, uh, he's kind of given me kind of uh, tidbits and information along the way, but I'm going to turn the floor over to him. What has this experience been so far for two adjustments? Two adjustments, much stronger than any adjustment I had before. Um, doctor holds the position after the adjustment, which normally no chiropractor does, which I find very interesting. Had a bit of a sore neck, iced it down, was bearable, no problem. Did another adjustment this morning. Uh, my mid-back feels much more loose, I would say. Got told a little bit with the shoulders that I've been doing it wrong for 53 years, <laughs> but I believe him. So, and now I'm gonna look at the x-rays and see how good I look naked, basically. <laughs> it's funny, you're a funny guy. Uh, How did you sleep last night too, by the way? I slept okay, but not better or worse. Not better or worse, okay. And then, uh, anything else? I think it's pretty good right now, right? Yes, everything okay. was good. Come over here. And then make sure you do the, um, the, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, all right, so he hasn't seen his spine yet, so I'm going to go over this step by step. So, uh, Chandra, here's the pink line is the middle of your body. Yep. Okay, so I'm looking for where leverage is created. And you've seen my videos on x-rays before, yes. haven't you? Good. So you have an idea where I'm going with this. Yes. So you see your body, is, your head is left of center. Yes. Okay? And also your left shoulder is left of center, right? It's lower on yes. the left. So essentially your whole body is falling one way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the only way to combat that is the muscles on the right have to work harder. Yes. Make sense? Right, yes. good. So we also have some TMJ problems. See the jaw over here is less space, or more space and less space over here. So the jaw is shifted to the right a little bit. But the most important thing is the whole body's falling. Now on camera and you probably also see that we have a 10 degree curve in your neck here. here. That's important. And it's not nothing because it's so high on the neck, but it is a weakness. It's not the problem. It's not the cause of your problem. It's just a weakness. Mm -hmm. By resetting the brain stem, by resetting the balance in your body, this decreases the leverage on this. Okay. So have, I haven't even touched your upper back, but you say already on yes, camera that yes, it feels better. Correct. So by deleveraging your body, it takes pressure off that. Okay. Makes sense, right? Yes, got it. Any questions? Nope. See, <laughs> you didn't have a question. Um, now low back. <clears throat> uh, right leg's shorter, which is interesting because generally it falls towards the same side of the head. So this goes against conventional wisdom, and this is probably because of how bad your neck is, which we'll show you in a second. A uh, little constipation in here, um, but again, right leg shorter. Okay. Side view. Now this tells me how bad your posture has been for years. And this is when I pushed on your back. He has a lot of pain up here in the thoracic lumbar area, but his low back is gone. I mean, this is all arthritis down here. Very skewed uh, hyperlordosis in the low back. You can see how it kind of goes in right here. So he almost feels like there's a hole in his back back here. But it's not a hole, it's just his posture is so bad from compensations from his neck. His neck has caused this over the years. Arthritis has developed in his body up here. Uh, the interesting thing down here, we can actually see his coccyx. See his coccyx, guys? So I'll blow this up so you can see this. And you can see it's way forward. Like he even sat on and broke it years ago. Maybe not broke it, but dislocated it. See how okay. up inside it is? Yes, yes, yes. And so that could have been something that may have started a lot of this process off because sometimes when you guys land on your um, coccyx too hard, you create uh, problems with sitting, and sitting will change the way you do things, will change your posture, and can set up a chain event that'll throw things off. Mm -hmm. Okay, but anyways, that thing is way skewed in there. Okay. Uh, I'm still waiting for the good news. Uh, there is no good news. <laughs> You're here, that's the good news. Gotcha. Okay, so, uh, posture sucks. Okay, so, 
This 137 millimeters here tells me how forward of his bot his how forward his head is of his body. So here's the middle of his back right here. That's just that's just humping his back to a certain extent. And so the middle of a C2 is where I measure to. 137 millimeters is huge. That's a lot. Normally we'll see people with bad posture, maybe 60 to 70 millimeters. This is double that. Okay. Now the thing that really is awful, and this is what I was so excited about showing. I guess I should be excited about your <laughs> about your demise. But the thing I'm excited about is showing you guys this. So normally, okay, the neck should be shaped like this yellow line. Okay. Now he was told that his C2 and C3 were fractured when he was younger. There's no fracture in here. It's just, it's just so reversed. It is a high reversal. That's as high as I've ever seen, and as bad as I've ever seen. And so it actually takes like a 90 degree here. And we call that a kyphosis as, a, as an extreme name of it, but it just does a, it does an actual turn here. And so why is that important? Well, because this is so jagged here, it puts an abnormal amount of pressure on the brainstem. I mean, ridiculous amount of pressure up here. And the brainstem is where, again, balance is set. Vertigo, uh, nausea, uh, ringing in the ears, um, headaches, migraines, all that stuff comes from this. I'm surprised he's not worse than he is, actually. I mean, this thing is really bad. And so the, re the, the ramifications of that is this. Radical arthritis all on the bottom part of his neck. This is the good part? No, no I'm saving the good part for the end. <laughs> so radical arthritis. This is all support, support structures of the body trying to help the body support itself. But it's just getting worse and worse. This is phase, phase four arthritis in here. I mean, and then this, this angle is, again, probably the worst I've ever seen. I think it's even starting to grow together in here a little bit. And so that's massive arthritis. That's just adaptation. That's just um, ah, crazy. Now, uh, for your atlas lovers out there, here's the atlas. It's horizontal of normal. It's all messed up, jagged in here. But it's actually, it's straight. It's not worn off like I thought. There's a whole bunch of extra growth stuff in here. Um, it's ugly in there. But again, there's hardly any space in there. And that lack of space tells me the brainstem that fits right in here is being tortured. Okay. And so that's where the headaches came in the past and all that kind of stuff. Any questions about this? No, where's the gun so I can shoot myself? Yeah. You're here, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're getting better. You're already feeling better, right? Yes. yes. Good. No other questions, right? No, no Okay, questions. so come back with me. Watch yourself right here. Yep. Come here, lay on your back, sir. And then, uh, Kaylee, get a quick, 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 quick picture of this. I want to show this on camera, too, right here. See that on camera? So that's how it's supposed to be, guys. See the angle here, and the curve, and the angle of the atlas? And so the angle is his is like this, but this is C2, C3. His goes the not just the opposite way, but completely. That's what it normally looks like, and that's what it's supposed to look like. When it's bad, it looks like this. But his goes dink, dink. So inter interesting, guys. So we'll show you that up close in a minute, okay? So uh, adjustments for him, again, I've been a little nervous to adjust C2, C3. So what I've been doing is adjusting C4, C5. He's had some pretty good results. We've changed his posture. We've changed the way he looks at his spine. So he's starting to see some benefits. So um, we'll let you watch. That was your best one so far, actually. Good. Did you notice it that moved a yes, little freer? Yes, 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 Not yes. just made any noise, but it actually, I could feel my hand yes, kind of in yes, yes, yes. Yeah, moved much better. Yeah. I think that shoulder thing we taught you relaxed your neck mm. enough to let me do more. Because that was much just better. Just for everybody watching, it's actually enjoyable. It is? Yes. Oh, cool. probably think I paid you or something. Mm. If I did, guys, I'd pay somebody prettier. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he hates that, by the way. <laughs> okay. Come this way. Come towards me more. Come towards me more. Good. Yeah. I was a little tight on that side. Okay. The right side moved really wonderfully. Uh, left side was a little tight, but uh, again, making progress. So uh, that's his story so far. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys got a lot out of that. That was, a, again, an extreme case. And uh, thank you for letting me do that video. See you guys. 
Okay, uh, Shandor here is a piece of shit, and he gives me a hard time before his last adjustment, but he's doing a lot better here. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. It's been a week. Uh, five days later, seven adjustments will be a seventh, seventh adjustment. Um, changed his life, I think, a little bit. You know, at least changed his vision on what chiropractic can be and what it can go to. Uh, taken to a whole new level, I think. And uh, I'll let him kind of explain to you what's going on. And he's already been pretty eloquent about what he's done. But again, after five days, where are you at, Shagor? Well, I can sleep better. At least I would say 10 to 15% better than I slept before. Oh, cool. That means I'm more rested in the morning. The shoulders are much more relaxed after I was taught how to hold the shoulders correctly. I'm still practicing the chin up. The mid-back is totally stress-free, which was always an attention before. And my left side, I can stand actually on my left leg like this, which normally would not be possible. I would have fallen already. So I've now really got stability on both sides. Huh. Not 100% yet, but this is an 80% improvement from before. So I'm quite happy with that. And uh, what about the, uh, get his toes, get his foot down here. The uh, left foot, remember we talked about... Um, normally I couldn't get up. Now I can get up out, off the ground. Yeah. And you can see it's more vertical too. It's yes. not, it before yes. kind of rolled out yes. before. Yes, yes. Great, good. Great. And so that's been going on his whole life. And again, I love those things. This is more important than his little pain in his shoulder, his little pansy attitude about, eh, my shoulders are sore. I like the big neurological things like balance. And he's here for that anyways yes. too. But um, he never realized that this could actually happen. Again, this guy's been to over 15 chiropractors, right? 150 treatments, he says, probably more. And so uh, he's been through the gamut. He knows what's going on. He's been, he's been doing this forever. And so we talked about him going back home, and we're like, okay, so who are you going to cheat on with me? And he's like, ah, well, you're I'm gonna, not going to waste my money. He's not even waste his money because it's not even worth it, right? No. This has given him more in these couple days than the whole time put together. So anyways, I'm, it's awesome that he's here for that. Um, he's on depression medication, too. I was talking about this off camera that uh, when he comes back, he's going to come back for a two-week session. And we're going to try to hit that and see if we can bring that, that, that um, prescription down, if not eliminate it altogether. So... We got to get his, his sleep over 10%. We got to get 50% better. Okay. So that will still improve. Um, that's it. I mean, uh, oh, I want to ask you this too. I hadn't even checked this, but hearing and vision, has that changed all this week? Well, you don't look any better than you did on Monday. Shit, this guy, man, I right. swear. I've done so much for this guy. All he wants to do is give me a hard time. <laughs> I, can't, okay. I can't say if vision hey, or hey. hearing hair went better, but I'll, I'll ask my wife what she thinks about that one. Um, but. I assume it definitely hasn't got worse, so it's, it, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, I'm just asking only because it's sometimes I, I like to get all that stuff yes. out there because we talked about yes. it. Um, yeah, you know, for giving him some, so much, he's given me, he given me so much back. <laughs> so, let's get you Justin. What have we done on your Justin, by the way? What have we done the whole time? Neck. Just neck, right? Just neck. And uh, so we're going to do the same thing we've done all week, keep it simple. And this will be his last visit. Hope you guys enjoy it. Okay. Bye -bye. Up a tad more. Yeah, perfect. Have a little performance anxiety. You don't perform on camera as well, huh? <laughs> I can't say anything with the cameras on. <laughs> and your wife, yeah. Okay. Okay. This side's definitely tighter, that's for sure. That's the first time that side hasn't gone. Doesn't matter. Yeah, but no, it's um, that stuff, left side is definitely a little tighter. I could feel it. So we can get up and walk down the hall and see how he walks. I'm going to work on his posture real quick. And you see this guy's like 10 feet tall now. Um, not any prettier, but taller. I can't say anything with cameras on. <laughs> I would have had something to say on that one. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, go ahead and stop. Now one thing, shoulders relaxed, good. Hands in a little more. There you go. That's it, better, good. Good, he's having trouble with uh, unlearning all the crap he's learned over the years about how to hold his chin and his retract his chin, retract his shoulders, all that crap. So it's hard to get over 30 years of yes. wrong information. Yes. But he feels better, yes. and so he's listening to me because he goes, it feels better, so let's go with it, right? Yes. Good. So thank you very much for the video. It was a pleasure. Have a safe trip back. I can't wait yeah. to see you guys again. Hope you guys enjoy that video. See you guys next time.